One of the key questions, I think, in the United States will be, how do we have these public-private partnerships and, at the same time, restore the faith of the public that they're not just being used in a form of corporate welfare? Uh, because I think it would be dreadful to entirely cut off basic science. The, the public goods of science and R&D support are essential to the lifeblood and the dynamism of our society. Um, in the big corporation economy, um, we kind of can rely on, you know, or back in mid 20th century, we could rely on these big firms to do it all themselves. Uh, but that's not the way the world works anymore. We're in this world of smaller firms, uh, collaboration networks, and so forth. And there's a critical public sector role in essentially greasing those collaborations. So one other program which is really important that uh, we talk about a little bit in the, in the book is that the National Science Foundation has had a program for years to fund industry university research collaborations. And the way it works is that they give a university researcher a big pot of money to set up a center for five years uh, to solve certain problems in uh, um, aerodynamics or in turbine design or so something which has a very applied dimension but raises serious scientific technological problems. And they say to that scientist, engineer, entrepreneur, uh, we're supporting you for five years. We want you to draw in industry partners um, who will send some of their researchers to work with your people um, and they will at a certain point start paying uh, dues to the center and after five years uh, it'll transition to being self-supporting. So that the government essentially creates a little research collaboration between a star scientist, that star scientist network on campus and across campuses, and a bunch of people from the industry, again, small firms, medium-sized firms, large firms, who have a stake in solving the technological problems. And it turns out um, that that creates a kind of uh, what um, PR and Lester call a collaborative public space, a, a, a kind of place where um, people will come together and start to exchange ideas because they, they're not as worried about intellectual property because they know they're going to get back more ideas, more inspiration than they're giving up. And they start to, to work together and they actually um, have a track record of making significant progress on solving these kinds of, of problems. Great. Well, I heard you say that uh, a university is not a business and that at some level it's to look out after the social good. And what I would say is uh, your book, State of Innovation, is one of those public goods and you're raising very important questions and you've obviously been a great networker in pulling together this group of authors. So uh, congratulations on your book. I believe it's published by Paradigm That's in right. Boulder, Colorado. That's right. And uh, best of luck. Uh, we hope to see you at our conferences and uh, continuing to illuminate these very challenging dimensions of a very complicated economy. Well, thank you very thank much, Thank you.